A seven-year-old child is refusing to sleep in his own bed at night. When the parents sit with him in his room, he is fine. When they leave the room, he begins to cry. When they come back in, he stops crying. This is an example of opera conditioning, B, classical conditioning, C, punishment cycles, D, higher order conditioning. I, I believe C and D are O. I think it's, I think it's classical conditioning. So it's not classical, it's actually opera conditioning. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, I wondered about that after I said classical, but. So this is definitely a recall and application question, right? They give you kind of the example of what it looks like in real life. That's where the application piece comes in. Opera conditioner, of course, is going to be who? B.F. Skinner. Classical conditioning is going to be Pavlov. So the mm -hmm. way that I remembered it, opera conditioning, I'm thinking of Skinner and reinforcement of behavior where reinforcement, no matter if it's negative or positive, always increases, right? So mm -hmm. in this scenario, the child, the child to go to sleep on his own. I, I remember this pain. Um, but they probably don't realize by every time the child cries and they come back in the room, the child learns that, hey, if I cry, mommy and daddy will come back in the room. Hence, it defeats the purpose of what they're trying to do. They're trying to get him to sleep on his own. Mm -hmm. Actually reinforcing his behavior. Classical conditioning, of course, is Pavlov, and where you talk about two things associating that are learned, unconditioned means that something hasn't been learned yet. Conditioned means that something has been learned. 